Okay, folks, I'm getting a little tired now. Mr. LJ is tiring just a little bit. <laughs> okay, been picking a lot of poke salad today. And there goes my, okay, it's just a text, never mind. And uh, LJ is just a, just a fine place. Uh, I remember it back before all this stuff was like it is nowadays. And it's good, and I know things have to change, and I know the time will come when those old houses, or those new houses, the ones we have now, will become old houses and be torn down, I know. But it's just fun. The whole thing is, what a journey, what a journey. Life has been good right here in LJ, and we come from one extreme, I did, to another. <laughs> okay. And, uh, you know, it's just cool. I remember... Uh, way back in the day, the hot rod cars, the uh, the stuff, and the motorcycles, and all the crazy stuff going on. And there was music then. I, w I wasn't Mr. LJ, but I was I was playing songs, and everybody. I'd have a guitar at the gathering, and we'd all sit around and play. I got one memory here I want to share with you. So there used to be an old character here in town. His name was Dwayne Carroll. Okay, had a beautiful old '50 Chevrolet, and we loved it. A good friend of mine's got it now up there, and he's he's taking care of it too. He's taking care of it real good. And uh, right over here, if you if you if you'll pan over there to that building, right there, and then come back around, you see the bridge. Mm -hmm. That used to be, if you'll listen real close, uh, when you come back around here, uh, if you listen real close to a song called Baby Blue. The old wooden bridge I fished from is replaced with man-made stone. That was it, folks. That's it right there. And uh, we'd play around here. I had a cousin one time, and I swear, it, it, it had big iron beams that went way up in the air. If he didn't climb those iron beams, and he walked, stood up like a Georgia pine and walked the top of the thing, I thought any second he's going to hit the ground, but he didn't. And uh, he was a character that far. He's still with us too, old Johnny Davis, my favorite cousin. And uh, Dwayne Carroll was a guy, he was all of our hero. He was our hero, everybody was. He was all of us his hero. And uh, he worked, that building that we just showed you, Dwayne, Dwayne was a real good mechanic and he worked at this building. It was Andy Morgan's garage, okay? They did repairs on everything, all kinds of farm equipment, trucks, cars, and they were good welders there, and Dwayne was a good welder, and he worked there, okay? And we would hang out all day and wishing what Dwayne wasn't at work so he could come and hang out with us. He was older than the rest of us, but he'd show us stuff all the time. He'd teach us stuff. We'd help him work on his 50 Chevrolet. And uh, I remember one evening, Dwayne got off work right there at five o'clock. And he had a Honda 305 Scrambler motorcycle. We thought he was the stuff. You know, I was, I was about 14. I guess Dwayne was, I don't know, he's probably 22 or so like that. Maybe maybe more. But uh, he got off work there one day and he jumped on that Scrambler and he took off right there. Now, this is the old bridge, okay? The old bridge was there then. He took off across that bridge and I don't know what happened. Uh, Dwayne was an excellent driver and a motorcyclist. But something went wrong. It had base boards on it that were horizontal, and then it had these running boards that was out through there, uh, we'll say vertically, I guess, is the way you look at it. I don't know if he got his motorcycle tire off of one of those running boards. I don't know what happened, but he, he, was, he, was, he was getting on it pretty good, too. Well, it got away from him, and he went down on that bridge right there, Dwayne did. He was skint all over and beat up. And I don't think it broke any bones. Best I remember, I don't really know. It may have, but he had a bad accident right there on that bridge that used to be the old wooden bridge I fished from. And that's all a big myth. I've never been fishing. <laughs> but, but it was a wooden bridge, and it's now replaced with this man-made stone one over here. And... Uh, that was Andy Morgan's garage and old Dwayne. I remember the day he had a, had that bad motorcycle accident right there on that bridge. And we were all thinking, Lord help us, he could have gone off the bridge. He could have run off because it just had little rails out through there, you know. It wasn't them things like you got now there. And uh, 
Dwayne could have fallen off the bridge and, and went down there and hit the water or something. And we remember how lucky we were feeling because he didn't do that, but he still wasn't real lucky. <laughs> he was scratched all over and skint. But there's a good old memory of Ella J. And I used to live right up the river here. When we left Pumpkin Center and, uh, and came to town, uh, we lived right up, just right up there a little ways on the left, on the other side of the river, right by Cox Creek. Cox Creek runs into the Ella J. River just right there. Okay, we're telling you about Ella J. now. Just, I don't know, it's probably a 1,000 feet from here. And the Cox Creek runs into the Ella J. River, and then they all go down to just right down there, and they meet together, and they become the Kusawati. And that is Kusawati. It's not Kusawati. It's the Kusawati, okay? And, that's, and then it becomes that and goes on into Cartersville. But Ella J. is a very special place. It's got two rivers running right through the middle of town. And late in the evening when the sun goes down, you can drive through and hear the happy sounds of the folks in LJ. Love the life here. I love growing up here. I had a good, a good life right here. And uh, it's different now, but so am I. Time has made a change in the old home place. Time has made a change in me. But we're mighty happy to still be here. And, uh, and get, and get to be Mr. L.J. This Mr. L.J. business is fun. You know, uh, you get to be Mr. L.J. If you want to write a song, if you'd like to write a song about L.J., and make sure it rhymes good, and make sure the storyline carries very well, and it tells the truth about how it is and how it was here in L.J., and then while you're at it, if you'll get in your basement and if you'll record the drums, the bass, the rhythm guitar, three lead guitars in that song, and if you'll get your favorite girl to come and sing harmony, it won't matter who it is. You can just use whatever girl you want to. I'll use mine, you can use yours, it don't matter. Let her sing harmony for you on that song and then mix it and produce it yourself. We'll call you Mr. Ella J. <laughs> I know that's burning up. <laughs> but it's so funny. I don't know how I wrote that song, but I bet you would have too if you could have <laughs> Anyway, it's a good little song. I'm very proud of it and I'm very proud that it's about this cool little town And it's gotten a lot of a lot of plays